So this is the subtopic of the previous topic that is dependence of wavelength on refractive index of the given medium. In, in earlier topic we found the relation that is n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r. These are the relation which are related to the refractive index as well as angle of incidence, angle of refraction and the speed of light between two medium. But the next point of the same topic is what are the dependence of wavelength. Wavelength is what the length of the one wave we are represent in terms of wavelength and that, that is denoted by lambda. So in this topic we have to discuss about what are the dependence of wavelength on the refractive index of the given medium. So they are considered two cases. In first case they consider that is monochromatic light incident normally on a boundary between two medium and that boundary as show, uh, and that boundary is shown by PQ and in second case they are considered same monochromatic light incident obliquely on the boundary between two medium. In first case they represent incident normally and in second case they are represent incident obliquely but they are considered two mediums medium 1 and medium 2. So look at here the first diagram is represent the first diagram is represent this monochromatic light falls normally on the second medium. So that is represent medium 1 and this is represent medium 2. Consider this medium 2 is represent denser medium and medium 1 is represent rarer or air medium and we are consider these are the plane wavefront of the monochromatic light which is denoted by EF, CD and AB and the distance between these two wavefronts is denoted by lambda which is same for next two wavefronts again lambda which means suppose A, AB and CD is uh, the distance between these two wavefronts is denoted by lambda same the distance between CD and EF is denoted by lambda 1. Again if you consider another wave that is again denoted by lambda 1. This PQ is the boundary between these two medium. Boundary between rarer medium and denser medium. And we know that again we have to repeat the same condition that is as we know that speed of light in rarer medium is greater than the speed of light in denser medium. Because of that one the wavefronts will move slower and they cover less distance in the same time in the second medium. Which means what? Suppose in rarer medium this wavefront first wavefront and second wavefront they cover distance with respect to lambda 1 but we know that speed of light in denser medium is less than speed of light in rarer medium that's why in denser medium same wavefronts will cover less distance as compared to the first medium that means we can easily say that lambda 1 is greater than lambda 2 that means distance in the rarer medium is greater than distance in the tensor medium why because speed of light in rarer medium is greater than speed of light in denser medium so suppose if we consider v1 is the speed of light in rarer medium and t time covered a distance lambda by the wavefront so therefore t is equal to lambda 1 upon v1 lambda 1 upon v1 why will take because we know that speed the formula is distance upon time here distance we are represent in terms of lambda and time we are represent in terms of t therefore v is equal to lambda upon t here we are considered two lam uh, lambda 1 and lambda 2 with respect to different medium that's why t is equal to lambda 1 upon v1 in first medium and in second case t is equal to lambda 2 upon v2 in second medium. So if we compare these two equations we get look at here in, uh, instead of t here instead of t suppose if we wrote lambda 2 upon v2 we will get lambda 2 upon v2 is equal to lambda 1 upon v1. Same happen with when these wavefronts are obliquely sorry when these lights are obliquely incident between between two surfaces. Look at here. So again we are consider PQ is the boundary between these two medium. Medium 1 is represent rarer medium and medium 2 is represent tensor medium and again if you consider this AB, CD, 
E, F, and G, H. These four wavefronts are obliquely incident on radar medium to the denser median. And if the distance covered by these two wavefronts, which is represent lambda one in radar medium, so because the speed of light in denser medium is less than speed of light in radar medium, that's why in denser medium these wavefronts will move slower than radar medium and they cover less distance as compared to lambda 1 and again in, when the rays are obliquely incident we can again say that lambda 1 is greater than lambda 2 that means the wavelength in radar medium is greater than wavelength in denser medium and again if you consider the time required to cover this distance uh, time required uh, sorry time required of this wavefront to cover this distance you have considered t is equal to lambda 1 upon v1 and in for second case that is for denser medium lambda 2 upon v2 and if you compare these two equation you will get lambda 2 upon v2 is equal to lambda 1 upon v1 say this is equation number and suppose if you have to find out wavelength of second medium then V2 shifted over here we will get lambda 2 is equal to lambda 1 upon V1 into V2 and we know that V2 upon V1 from the refraction of plane surface we know that V2 upon V1 is equal to N1 upon N2 again N1 is absolute refractive index in medium 1 and n2 is absolute refractive index in medium 2 therefore lambda 2 is equal to lambda 1 put instead of v, v2 upon v1 is n1 by n2 and say this is equation number 4 and suppose if we consider medium 1 is vacuum vacuum means suppose if we consider medium is ether so therefore in vacuum the term that is n1 is represent sorry n1 is equal to 1 that means refractive index in air or refractive index in vacuum which is directly equal to the 1 so suppose if medium 1 is vacuum therefore n1 is 1 this lambda 1 is represent is equal to absolute distance this lambda 2 as it uh, this lambda 2 is represent total distance covered by total distance covered by wavefront in denser medium only and n that is instead of n2 we have to consider n is the refractive index of medium 2 which is called absolute refractive index therefore equation number 4 is represent lambda 2 we have to write down in terms of lambda lambda 1 we have to write down in terms of lambda 0 if n1 is equal to 1 and n2 is equal to absolute refractive index so we can write lambda 0 upon n this is the dependence this equation equation number 5 it shows the dependence of wavelength on refractive index of the given medium which is very important so this is the new topic of this chapter previous in previous year we had discussed only refraction of light at a plane surface but in this here you have to learn about what are the dependence of the wavelength on the refractive index so this is new subtopic for you to understand the dependence okay again if you are using equation number four look at here equation number four lambda one if you suppose lambda one if you are taking in left hand side so it considered with denominator so lambda two upon lambda one is equal to n one by n two and we know that n one by n two is nothing but v two upon v one so therefore lambda 2 upon lambda 1 is equal to v2 upon v1 and if you change the in, if you change interchange the position of this so we will get v1 look at here if we shifted v1 over here and lambda 2 over here so we can write v1 upon lambda 1 is equal to v2 upon lambda 2 which is exactly equal to 1 and this equation number 6 is represent frequency remains unchanged which means what whenever we consider rarer medium or denser medium so that two mediums will affect on their wavelength will affect on their speed of light will affect on their uh, sorry will affect on anything but the frequency of that wave remains unchanged whenever it should be uh, whenever we are considering in terms of rarer medium or whenever we are considering in terms of denser medium and the equation number 4 and equation number uh, sorry equation number 4 is the form of equation number 3 but in this uh, sorry in this
this subtopic you have to prove this relation lambda is equal to lambda 0 upon n so if you have any difficulties regarding anything any single topic or single term if you are not understand and if you have any problem with in it write please leave comment in a comment box okay thank you